Moxley was there. I want to get your opinion on that about the Mance Warner and uh, <laughs> the John Moxley match. I really do. Uh, I, and then I just want to say, send all the hate mail to Garrett <laughs> if you don't agree with his opinion. I, I have no opinion on this. If you loved it, I loved it. If you hated it, I hated it. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't really have an opinion on it from the perspective of like really happy or really bothered. Like I just saw it as an opportunity. You know, they tied in the Ric Flair thing with, with this opportunity to have a match. Once I saw it was Mance Warner, I knew it was going to be bloody and it was going to be a brawl. I only know of Mance Warner because of stuff that he's done for MLW. Cause I know court would, would uh, push, push him in MLW, but ultimately, you know, it's, it's if the if, 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 in you know let's go back to when we were watching when, when we were kids if this was um bret hart versus barry horowitz you see barry horowitz in the role that he was and you're like oh i just like watching bret hart russell so this is fun and it'll be a fun match and barry horowitz is you know he's he always loses but you know he's going to be spirited in this loss i think the problem is is because Moxley and some of the other guys, when they wrestle these folks who aren't really uh, promoted on AEW TV, the matches are a little bit more competitive than than people are, are are used to or want to see the champion. You know, we want a dominant AEW champion. So I I could see it from that perspective. But ultimately, if you know this was kind of like a tryout, right? If AEW was like, oh. Yeah. This guy's cool. Like, let's bring him in. Let's sign him. And for him, it's a great opportunity because he's, you know, he's working for MLW. He's he's doing independent stuff. Now, I don't know what his, what his, I, I don't know if he's still with MLW or not, but, you know, it's an opportunity for him to come out and, and have the best match possible. And I'm sure Moxie saw it the same way. Like, oh, you know, let's, let's give this guy some TV time and I want, I want him to look good. And so ultimately yeah. when I see it that way, I don't, I don't really care. It doesn't hurt me as a fan to go why is mance warner having this competitive match you know with the champion like but i but there is an old school mentality with some some of the fan base who's like why isn't this a squash we have no idea about this mance warner you know so it so why is he why is he even on this show? like you know why haven't he been built up like th there's a certain old school mentality to some of this stuff and i think for aew i think they believe canon for some of this stuff is independence and it's yeah the, some of that fan base that they have who absolutely knows who this guy is um it was kind of you know you, you got lightning in a bottle with eddie kingston right people knew eddie kingston not everybody knew eddie kingston but immediately he comes out and you're like oh wow like that guy deserves to be here and not everyone can be eddie kingston some of them are going to be the other guy who was the other guy who came in and with the tassels and stuff and people thought you know he was gonna kind of blow people away from the indies this was right yeah. when eddie kingston came. whoever i forgot that guy's name but you're not you're not always going to get eddie kingston in those moments listen here, here here's the reality right uh, by the way I, I whatever i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about this match a little bit but i just want people to know i booked eddie uh mance warner uh for catalyst wrestling okay we we were booking him, we, but he he had that injury. I think he broke his leg or whatever it was. So I'm high on him for sure. I, I think I think he is one of those guys in the indies that stands out for whatever reason he stands out to you. I think I think his promos are you know unique. He does that. He has a little bit of a Steve Austin thing going with his voice, and you know, mm -hmm. it it works for him. He he looks like a tough guy. He's a tough guy, and it works. I'm not crazy about a lot of blood. I, I think it's necessary to do it I, when, certain times. I think it's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, preach people on, on gigging and stuff like that. However, I'm not, I'm not a fan of like the ultra violent style of wrestling. This match oh, yeah. was a little violent. You know, that yeah. choke was a little violent. It was a violent yeah. match, but that fits in. It's canon to John Moxley right now. Not so much Mance Warner. It's not about Mance Warner. It's about John Moxley going through these ridiculous tough battles as your champion he's your he's your traveling champion he's one of those guys i thought it was fine um it was it was it was a good it was fine now it depends if you like the if you like the hardcore stuff you're gonna freaking love this if you're if you're a gcw fan you like mance warner you like his indie stuff you're gonna love this if you've yep. never seen mance warner 
you're going to say, who the hell is this guy? If you don't like that style, you're going to be disgusted with it and hate it. I, I, there's a different perspective all around in pro wrestling. Everybody likes something else. You know, I really, really like the Brian Danielson style. That is what I like. I like the Kenny Omega style. I like the story within the match. I'm mm -hmm. not a deathmatch guy, but I could appreciate it if it's good. Sure. Sure. I think sometimes when you look at it that way, it's better. It got it got a lot of of criticism on Saturday, and I actually went back and watched it. And it was the second time watching it, I was a lot softer on my takes on this match than I was mm -hmm. Friday night after watching it. I don't know why. Um I guess it wasn't as shocking, you know, like the whole like the the, the choke the, the finish, the choke finish was the thing for me. I was like I, I you don't really see that in wrestling and it stood out. Yeah. Maybe it's the positive. It got us talking about it, right? It's funny because, you know, we are talking about Mance Warner uh, because that, that was part of wrestling Twitter, right? People were interested in talking about him. And I don't think I said a negative thing about him. Um, and even in even in our chat, they're like, why are you overanalyzing this? And it's like, well, job. because that's what we do. <laughs> like we, we, yeah. we analyze stuff on the show. Yeah. But well, you're mean... also kind of raising awareness for something that someone else may not have seen and then they're going to go watch it and then they'll give their opinion. But ultimately the way that I like to look through these things is, is through a lens of fairness. And I don't look at something and go, Oh, that was despicable. Right? Like that's like Jim yeah. Cornette. He's going to have opinions yeah. uh, so widely ranged and so emotional, but that's not how I do it. Like, cause I'm, I look at it from a reasonable perspective and go, this side may see it this way. This side may see it this way. And, you know, I agree or disagree, but the the reason for talking about it is because it's what people were talking about. So that, yeah. you know, that is that over analyzation. It's like, no, we're having a discussion on what people are talking about and giving our opinions on it. But and listen, anyway. here's the other thing, guys. Here's the other thing. We do the show because we love doing the show. We, we love you guys engaging. But you know what? A little bit of this is therapy for me. I love talking <laughs> wrestling with Garrett. Like this is a, there's no difference in this conversation that we're having than we would sitting at a bar, or sitting at my kitchen counter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is like this is how like it's a conversation amongst good friends. And I except think that's Rich the might be there cracking part. jokes. Rich would be there cracking. jokes. Rich loved that Mance Warner match, by the way. He loves John yeah. Moxley. I think a little more than you. I think you guys are gonna have to fight over John Moxley. Do you, 